Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Today we are vlogging. I haven't vlogged in a minute. And I thought, let me bring you guys along and just spend a day or two with me. I just got to Century City. I'm here to buy a laptop. For the longest time, I have been editing using my phone. And <sighs> it's fine when you're starting out. Um, but guys, editing on your phone is very tiring. And also then people call you, you get messages. You get so many distractions that it just became such a tedious way of editing and i've been saying i need a new laptop for the longest time uh, and then i want to head over to h&m home there is a jewelry stand that i want there hopefully they have it the last time i saw it was like a few months ago and just to check out what else they have in store i feel like i'm blabbing so much so let me put on my mask and go to iStore and get myself a laptop <laughs> so yeah let's go everything I bought I didn't buy a lot of things because um, I mainly went there to get a laptop so I'll quickly show you guys what I got from H&M and then we'll get to the laptop so I bought this jewelry stand from H&M this retails for 230 I literally couldn't find it anywhere else I checked superfluous take a lot the works only H&M has this. Um, I just wanted the T-shape and I knew I would get it at H&M. Hence, I went to H&M for it directly. And then I got this chunky necklace also from H&M. not sure if you guys can see these clearly. The light here is bright. And then lastly, I got a mirror. This mirror. Over here, it's very simple. It's 150 from H&M. I do have a makeup mirror and a jewelry stand, but I wanted something different. Hence, I bought these ones. And luckily for my sister, she gets all my leftovers. I'm such a nice sister. But that's basically all I bought. But what I'm really excited for is my MacBook, guys. I'm so excited. This is the laptop. I'm so excited. <laughs> Just, guys, I can already hear my mother. She's gonna faint. She was like, don't you dare. Because I told her the price. But mommy, when you watch this, this is an investment. This is my new laptop. It is very light, easily compatible. What am I trying to say? I'm not trying to say compatible, child. Guys, the English data bundles, they get depleted during the weekend. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is it's easy to carry around. <laughs> like if you're going somewhere, you can easily go with it. See, it's very lightweight and yeah. This is it. Hi, Aunt. Nine is sound, it's you. Ta da! Welcome, Beyonce, guys. I said, if you know, I know. Hey, bro. It's home. It's home. But, anyways, 
this is my new laptop guys i'm so excited i'm really really excited okay veronica you and then it obviously comes with the charger and that's about it that is the charger and the cable and yeah that is pretty much my shopping spree for the day and i'm just gonna pretty much probably take a nap and play around with my new laptop and set up yeah let me quickly fix up my room i had someone here earlier this morning to come and clean and you know when people clean they put things in different places so i just need to put everything back in place and then i'll take my nap and play around with my laptop i've got a bit of editing that i need to do later tonight and yeah i think that might be all for today i really don't have a lot planned i'm not planning on seeing people i've been staying indoors a lot i might take a drive and we'll see morning so today is sunday and it is 11 a.m and i'm in such a good mood i don't know why i woke up in a good mood i was listening to gospel and then i switched over to house some deep house and i'm just in a good mood and i love that for myself you know but anyways i am all washed up and dressed and ready to start my day so yesterday after i had done the unboxing for you guys i pretty much went and gone and cut my hair i cut my hair and then i pretty much chilled in bed the whole day um i was in my pajamas i'm so in love with my new slides from cotton on and yeah i just pretty much just netflix and chill had some takeaways well mcdonald's and cashed up on some youtube and then later on i watched um dead to me on netflix it's a series that i'm currently watching and yeah i'm actually enjoying it so uh, today i have a few things that i need to do first things first is going to the police station to go get my id certified for work and then i'm gonna head over to the mall i need to grab a few things then i'm gonna come back home and yeah but anyways ooh, i'm having a breakout because my periods are coming and yeah stress me anyways let me go i need to actually go make a photocopy first and then head over to the police station <sighs> yep it is what it is child just finished a meeting in bed it is raining cats and dogs outside and i think i'm just gonna work from home I'm too lazy to go to the office so i need to sit up here and then yeah start my work day properly i need to have a cup of coffee and then i can start working
have breakfast. Um, just having some yogurt, muesli, some seeds, cranberries, and a touch of honey. That'll be my coffee, some water, some vitamins, and my medication. Um, I don't like working while I'm eating, but I have my work laptop set up over there. But I'm going to first have my breakfast. And then I will set up my desk for work because I'm too lazy to go to the office. And then I will work. And I'm going to take a shower first. <sighs> Maybe. Maybe I'll take a shower then work. This is why I like going to the office. Because when I go to the office, I wake up, I do my morning routine, I shower, get dressed, go to the office. And when I work from home charm, it's a mess. But yeah, let me quickly eat. Hey guys, so on Monday was the last time I had my camera open and I forgot to finish off my vlog. So today is Friday and I just remembered that I actually need an outro. So yeah, it's quite hot outside. Monday was raining, today it is sunny, I'm happy. I am done working for the day. I've got myself a bottle of wine from Bruce Jake. It is a Savion Blush. I don't think I've tasted this one before, but it has notes of rose petal and nectarine sorbet with a squeeze of lime. I love this brand. I advise you guys to try it out. I promise you won't be disappointed. So I'm gonna have a glass of this with pizza. <sighs> guys, I think I hate myself. I'm trying to lose weight, but I'm here having pizza for lunch and caramel custard filled donut from Krispy Kremes. I already had one, my sister had the other one, and then I've got this one left over as my dessert after, after this pizza. But anyways, it is what it is, child. From Monday, I'm going to be a good girl again. Ooh. I'm gonna quickly eat and then once I'm done eating, I'm pretty much gonna show you a few things that I bought um, for my laptop mainly. And yeah, otherwise, this is what I'm having for lunch. It is the, is it the Meaty Supreme? But it's from Panarotis. Um, yeah, I've got some garlic over here and some chili. So that's what we're having for lunch. I was gonna say for breakfast. What did I have for breakfast? <clears throat> See ya, I was with ya. I don't believe in the peace. See, I hear you, but also to sell it now. Why not? How how dare you? Drink water. Guys, I tell my sister she needs to invest in alcohol. She needs to buy alcohol so that she has alcohol at home. Facts. Then why don't you do it? How do you like that, girl? I buy can't blow alcohol. Listen, firstly, you get sent this alcohol for free. Because I'm an influencer. Well, tell them to know me. Say hey, check this base out. She deserves some liquor. How about that? Look at this. Oh, it's so cold inside. And they're actually sending me more alcohol. Mm, I saw that thing. But still, doesn't mean she has to abuse my alcohol. And you know, my sister, guys, 
She does not this believe. Is about me. She does not believe in my statement. I say alcohol is a form of a deco piece. So I have alcohol that I've like having drank in months. I have a bottle of whiskey I haven't opened. It's been months. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alcohol is a decorative piece. Not the dash. I don't understand how I'm having a donut and I'm having pizza at the same time. It's a problem. It is an it, you know what? I am a pandemic of my own. Okay, guys, it's going to one place. I just got done eating. I'm gonna quickly show you what I bought and then I should end off this video. Just thought let me quickly show you what I'm wearing. It's just a loungewear piece, it's all white. The pants are from the fix, the shoes are from cutting on, and this is just an old top that I have. But these pants come with like a crop top jersey type. Um, also from the fix. So yeah, the hat ooh, bought it years ago. But anyways, let me set up my camera and then just show you what I bought and end of this vlog. Since I moved to this a MacBook, it's definitely different. I've had to Google a lot of things on how to actually operate it. I am very much enjoying it, but if you're planning on getting yourself a MacBook, just know that you're going to spend a bit more. Simply because, firstly, it doesn't have like USB ports. So you need to buy something to plug in so that you can get your additional ports like your HDMI, your USB ports and whatever additional ports and SD ports and whatnot. So that's one extra thing that you need to buy. Um, and then when it came to a mouse, I have a wireless mouse, but the one that I had was actually lagging on this laptop. So I had to go and Google which one is more compatible with this laptop. Obviously the Apple mouse is the most compatible, but it's so expensive. And I wasn't gonna spend so much money on a mouse. So I looked for a budget friendly one and I found one. They sell it at Incredible Connection. Please don't mind the noise, I have my window open. But yeah, they sell it Incredible Connection and I think take a lot, but I got mine at Computer Mania because Incredible Connection didn't have. Um, I'm gonna quickly show you now. It's also expensive, but it's called the Logitech Pebble M350. This retailed for 500 rands for a mouse. And I really wanted like a mouse because I don't really like using the touchpad a lot. Um, but it is a USB and Bluetooth wireless mouse and it's got two-year warranty and all of that so I did read up on it and it had really good reviews on how compatible it is with the MacBook now one other thing that I was struggling with is I'm not sure if you guys are gonna see but there's like so many marks on my screen right and for some odd reason you can't use like a normal lap or a normal cloth to wipe it and i was like i both this is so bizarre then i went to mac and i was like what can i use to clean my screen and then obviously they tried to sell me something on, in the store and i was like no 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 no. what can i use at home that i can find in my home that i can use to clean up the screen and the lady said um i must get micro micro what my microfabric cloths but basically i found these at a game they don't sell it like in loose packs they sell it as one big pack so this is a pack of 10 and it retails for 100 rands and yeah i'm just gonna quickly check it out if it actually works because I tried everything guys. I even checked online to see how do people clean their screens because it was irritating me. 
Like, look. Okay, now it's... Look. Who wouldn't be irritated by that? And I couldn't wipe it with anything. And it was so annoying. So, let's see. If this will work. Oh, it's working. And guys, <laughs> people guys will always try to sell you their products. Because when I was at Mac, or at iStore rather, the cloth they wanted to sell me retailed for 300 rands. Imagine. And then they said that you can, um, there's some disinfectant that you can use it with, which I'm sure is going to cost something else. So that would have retailed like 500 in total. Imagine. This works. Guys. It works. So if you have a MacBook out there and you've been struggling cleaning your screen, and the solution, guys. See? It's clean. Clean, clean, clean. I'm so happy. Okay, at least that works. I'm gonna set up my mouse also just to see that it works properly. But yeah. And then lastly, guys, because I like changing things up a lot, I went and looked for a new tray for my perfumes. Um, there's nothing wrong with the one that I have from Mr. Price. Let me show you. Ooh. So this is the one I have from Mr. Price. It's a glass one. So I just wanted something different. What I was looking for was the those marble spray ones but i couldn't find them at poetry well i found one at poetry and at woolworths but the color was not matching my room it was like a gray and white vibe and not like a gold and white vibe but then at woolworths i found this beauty it's called um the zoe medium timber tray it is from country road and this is how it looks it is gorgeous guys obviously the quality is impeccable it's beautiful i wish you guys could just like see but obviously it has the signature logo over there and i just love the color what i actually wanted to show you guys was my new chest of drawer which hasn't arrived you see and this annoys me because it was meant to arrive on Monday. On Monday, they told me that they informed me of the wrong um, turnaround times. Then they said it's gonna come on Wednesday. It did not arrive on Wednesday. Then they said on Thursday. It did not arrive on Thursday. Thursday was yesterday. And mind you, I'm the one communicating with them like, guys, where is this chest of drawer? You know, I've been waiting. And I told them, this is the reason why so many people are very hesitant in doing business with black people, you know. We want to support people so much, but they keep disappointing us, you know. I mean, it's one thing if you are having delays, communicate. But don't ignore me. Don't ignore my messages. Don't ignore my messages on WhatsApp and on Facebook. Don't switch off your phone the entire day what do you want me to think you know so i was really frustrated and i told the lady that i don't appreciate this and i told her that if i really like the product i am going to promote your business for you they can forget that my the service that i have received i'm sorry i'm sorry and my sister was like you haven't paid anything just don't use them just get it somewhere else and i'm like the thing is i asked them to make this for me I hope it turns out correctly, like it turns out nice. But if they don't deliver it tomorrow by 10 o'clock, I'm going to buy it elsewhere because I am tired of waiting for Lord knows what. They claim they finished making it, but their communication sucks. And that's what irritates me the most is the communication. And I feel like if they communicated with me, I would have been more understanding but now they're keeping quiet, they're switching off their phones and you have to go and look for them and call them and all of that. But why? You made a promise to your customers that you're going to deliver at a particular day, but like, why? So yeah, people in business and me in the future, 
just know your customers are your everything and if they don't have a good experience they can't vouch for you and a lot of small businesses depend on word of mouth you depend on other people promoting your stuff for you whether you pay them weights for free but if people have bad things to say about the service or the product you will make, you won't have a business your business relies on your customers so treat them right guys you but anyways i'm not trying to put anyone under the bus i'm just frustrated somebody already bought this one and is fetching it either later today or tomorrow and now i'm left without a chest of drawer because You know what? It is what it is. Let me switch out my perfumes and put this there and then I'm gonna close up this vlog. enjoyed the few days in my life i definitely enjoy shooting it um please make sure to like comment and subscribe if you haven't it won't cost you nothing but it will mean the world to me otherwise i'll see you guys on my next video bye, bye. that's my sister what's happening what's happening why it's just big on i know I'm gonna put this in my vlog. Fuck, it feels like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs>